this is our fourth art expo, um, and we've usually taken the same approach every year. Um, it's just it's an opportunity for a lot of artists, especially those who may struggle with verbal communication um, and sort of processing emotions, that kind of thing, to, to have an outlet for expression. So really our approach is that there are no rules. Um, submit whatever pieces you want to. So we do a, a call for artists, usually starting in January, February. Um, we participate in a lot of schools across the state, so we invite some of the different artists from um, those schools and art classes or life skill course classes um, to submit pieces. And really it's, it's, it's up to the artists what they want to submit, what kind of medium they want to work in. We contacted quite a few community groups. Uh, this year we did a new thing inviting different folks from community groups to fill out a tile reflecting the world from their eyes and that's going to be put together into a larger um, mosaic type piece that we'll have on display that we're going to have based on this year's uh, pieces a lot of really cool diverse 3D stuff and a lot of paintings and drawings. Um, we had animation and musical compositions this year, so I think that that'll be um, something that we'll want to continue next year. And maybe even a different space in the community, so we might not just be on campus, um, but we may actually get out into the community and have um, the event in a really cool gallery or um, school lobby. Hi, I'm Daniel Moore. I've made this art over here myself and where I made this was in my art therapy program. When I, how I got into art was I got in by trying to find something to help with the Asperger syndrome, trying to get involved in something. And being involved to me meant more than just sitting around just plucking away at a keyboard. It meant talking to another human, also creating something that you can show off to the world. The way I found out about this program is I found out at the Complete Life Room at the Indiana University Hospital over here in the Cancer Center. And I found out through about this program when talking with some of the people that have been working with me over there. I'm going to keep doing this but keep building on this and maybe doing some other things as well, kind of mix it all together. I found out about Hands on Autism through IUPUI resources, learned a lot about the autism spectrum and how visual aids really affect and help people with autism. Uh, my favorite piece was actually Megan's art, Megan Rich, and I really liked it because the story behind it is that each character represents somebody that might come across in her life, so every day when she needs to, meets a new person, she likes to draw them. My name is Jacob Betts, and I have been working with Glass for about two or three years now at the Indianapolis Art Center. I've been taking a couple different classes, glass blowing, sheet glass, and glass jewelry. 